वेलकम 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 टू अनदर रिविजन सेशन हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज एस आर एस फोर फोर वन जीरो दैट मीन स्टैंडर्ड ऑन रिलेटेड सर्विस फोर फोर वन जीरो विच टॉक्स अबाउट कंपाइलेशन एंगेजमेंट इन द कंपाइलेशन एंगेजमेंट द ऑडिटर प्रैक्टिशनर राइट नॉट द ऑडिटर बट द वर्ड यूज इज प्रैक्टिशनर practitioner is required to assist the management so basically now we have moved from the audit side to the management side now you are going to assist the management in the preparation presentation of historical financial information without giving any assurance without verifying without checking anything you are just assisting the management in preparation of financial information and issue your report as per SRS 4410. Is this point clear? Yes, sir. Now, sir, what about the information other than historical financial information? What if the management asked us to compile any other information? Then, in that case, you can again apply this standard with some necessary modifications or adaptation. Now, we have divided this standard like the last one into three parts: terms of engagement, procedures, and reporting. In terms of engagement, five terms of engagement need to be there. like in a audit engagement here also the first thing will be objective and scope so go to the nostalgia of sa 210 and the first thing is the objective and scope of engagement then the next two points are responsibility of the management responsibility of the practitioner not the auditor responsibility of the management responsibility of the practitioner management responsibility is to provide the financial information that practitioner is required to compile so how it will do it will make sure proper financial information is available this financial information is free from material misstatement so it will have to design implement and maintain internal control dim of ic to make sure the financial statements are free from material misstatement now along with this financial statements they have to provide the necessary records documents information explanation and judgment without judgment the financial statements will be impossible got it sir now with the management responsibility we link the frf with the practitioner responsibility we link the form and content of report clear clear sir now sir what was the next topic the next topic that you baba consider here is before the next topic remember since sqc1 that is the standard on quality control is applicable to all engagement standards it is applicable to srs also theek hai sir then 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 comes the next topic that is performing the engagement again here you just need to go with the flow before you start compiling the information you need to understand understand what bo and frf what is bo business and operations of the entity like a auditor here also as a compiler you are required to understand the entity and also understand the requirements of the frf once you are done with the understanding start preparing the dish for this dish of financial statement you need some ingredients accounting information informations and explanations records and documents and you also need what significant judgment very important when this is significant judgment is very important discuss it understand it better so discuss the significant judgments with the management and tcwg once you are done with it ready to issue the report wait read the report again read the report again read the compiled information in the light light of your understanding of step number 1 in the step number 1 what understanding you took b and o frf business and operations and the financial reporting framework now when you read this you may find some issues issues with the ingredients that is the records and documents information explanation significant judgment you may feel that these are incomplete or these are inaccurate if these are incomplete you request the management for additional information if these are inaccurate request the management to correct the information logical very logical if the management says no then you are unable to continue the engagement then withdraw and inform about the reasons of withdraw to the management and tcwg plus it says last point which is not given here is if the withdrawal is not possible under the law regulation then you need to decide accordingly that's it got it got it sir So this part of performing the engagement is also done, 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 done. Now, sir, in case the practitioner becomes aware during the engagement, sir, what he becomes aware? He becomes aware that the compiled information, that is the financial statement, these are misleading, or these have material misstatements, or they are omitting the required information. But if they are not referring to the FRF, then you propose, propose amendments. ठीक है? Propose the amendments to the management. and if the management declines it says no we are not going to amend then again you withdraw and inform the reasons of withdraw to the management and tcwg 
ठीक है एंड अगेन इफ द विड्रॉल इज नॉट पॉसिबल अंडर द लॉ रेगुलेशन देन डिसाइड अकॉर्डिंगली क्लियर क्लियर सर लास्ट पॉइंट से डिसाइड अकॉर्डिंगली मीन्स कंसिडर योर प्रोफेशनल एंड लीगल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑल्सो यू नीड टू टेक अ एक्नोलेजमेंट फ्रॉम द मैनेजमेंट ईसीडब्ल्यू जी दे हैव फुलफिल्ड द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ प्रोवाइडिंग द फाइनेंशियल इन्फॉर्मेशन ठीक है सर देन कम्स द प्रैक्टिशनर रिपोर्ट वेरी इजी इन द प्रैक्टिशनर रिपोर्ट हाईलाइट केयरफुली दैट यू आर नॉट द ऑडिटर यू आर द प्रैक्टिशनर सो यू आर एज अ प्रैक्टिशनर आर कंपाइलिंग द फाइनेंशियल इन्फॉर्मेशन नॉट प्रोवाइडिंग एनी ओपिनियन ऑन इट ठीक है सो गिव अ टाइटल गिव अ एड्रेस ही टू होम यू आर एड्रेसिंग दिस रिपोर्ट ठीक है स्टेटमेंट दैट द कंप्लाइड इन्फॉर्मेशन इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय द मैनेजमेंट डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द मैनेजमेंट प्लस अलॉन्ग विद दैट डिस्क्राइब द एप्लीकेबल एफ आर एफ द अकाउंटिंग पॉलिसीज दैट यू हैव यूज देन आइडेंटिफाई द फाइनेंशियल इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट इज द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट टाइटल ऑफ ईच स्टेटमेंट इंक्लूडेड इन द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट डेट एंड पीरियड कवर्ड बाय द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट बेसिक बेसिक इन्फॉर्मेशन जस्ट रीड इट रिलैक्स ठीक है सर देन अ डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द प्रैक्टिशनल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू कंपाइल द इन्फॉर्मेशन एस पर एस आर एस फोर फोर वन जीरो देन एक्सप्लेनेशन दट अ कंपाइलेशन इज नॉट अश्योरेंस इंगेजमेंट सो यू आर नॉट एक्सप्रेसिंग एनी ओपिनियन दैट्स इट एंड यू हैव नॉट डन एनी वेरीफिकेशन ऑल्सो सो देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो इन द क्वेश्चन बैंक विच सेड दैट आर यू रिक्वायर्ड टू वेरीफाई द रेवेन्यू इन द ट्रायल बैलेंस से नो वी आर नॉट रिक्वायर्ड टू वेरीफाई एनीथिंग ठीक है सर प्लस इफ द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स आर प्रिपेयर्ड यूजिंग अ स्पेशल पर्पस फ्रेमवर्क मेंशन इन योर रिपोर्ट द स्पेशल पर्पस फ्रेमवर्क सो इट मे नॉट बी सुटेबल फॉर एनी अदर पर्पस ठीक है आल्सो मेंशन द इंटेंडेड यूजर्स देन द लास्ट थ्री बेसिक पॉइंट डेट साइन एंड प्लेस नाउ सर वन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट अबाउट डॉक्यूमेंटेशन वाई डॉक्यूमेंटेशन इज इंपॉर्टेंट हेयर बिकॉज देर इज अ क्वेश्चन इन द क्वेश्चन बैंक इन द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन ऑफ एस आर एस फोर फोर वन जीरो वॉट यू डॉक्यूमेंट एस आर एफ दैट मीन्स इन एस आर एस यू डॉक्यूमेंट एस आर एफ what is srf significant matters reconciliation of the financial statements to the underlying books and books and accounts right sir and the last point is f sir what is f final version whatever is the final version of the financial statement that is the compiled financial information that should form part of your documentation along with the trial balance accounting records and other information so srf significant matters how they were addressed r for reconciliation and f for final version got it got it sir then we did these two questions very easy questions that's it and last me just remember one thing whenever you are studying don't watch the clock sir what to do do what it does like the clock keeps going on tick 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 you should also keep going on keep going my friend and the success is near Thanks a lot for attending today's class. Thanks a lot for being so participative and energetic. Energetic, and yes, stay happy as you are. Let's catch up in the next one. All the best. Keep going.